Yo, what's up guys? Link's your Jack and I hope you guys are having a great day today. Today we are going to do Call of Duty now. Couldn't get my words out then. Call of Duty now versus Call of Duty then. So what I mean by that, the concept of this is going to go for an old Call of Duty, which is Call of Duty 3. I've already recorded the Infinite Warfare uh, part, which is the second game I'm going to do after, because that ended today, so I had to do that first. And I also kept referring to this game as Call of Duty 2. So just a bit of a word of advice. When you hear me say Call of Duty 2, I meant Call of Duty 3. Okay, we just, we just need to clear it now. Let's get it out. <laughs> you don't need to comment it, I know. For this video, I always say I want you guys to comment below if you are a Call of Duty now, where you prefer all the futuristic games, Advanced Warfare up, or you prefer Advanced Warfare down, all the way to like Call of Duty 1, the old school games, um, all back back in the day. So we're going to spend probably five minutes on each game. I haven't, I don't know exactly five minutes, but I'm going to try and make it as even as possible. And we're just going to play the games, and we're just going to go through it and see what's different. I'll tell you one thing though, the first thing you don't get the first thing you don't get is music like this anymore. So motivating. It makes me wanna makes me wanna do do things. It makes me wanna go conquer the world. And it's gone. <laughs> you like that. I'm stuck on some shorts. What the fuck's going on here? It's all going down. Xbox Live, play a match, sign in, ready. I'll tell you what though, for an old game, it's pretty quick. Like there's no delay. I remember. Okay, it's music now. It's getting really frustrated. <laughs> it's really loud. And we're straight in the game. People are still playing this game. Yes. Yes, that's what I like to see. First thing first, you can definitely pick more guns now than back in the day. We're going to go with Sniper. Let's just go, where is it? Scout, I'm assuming. Let's jump straight into this. Alright. Hold up. I'm pretty sure last time I changed the sensitivity, but never mind. Oh, that is maximum. Oh, oh, that is actually maximum sensitivity. Okay. I don't know if the mic's picking it up. I've had to move my mic over here. It is making the worst noise. Like the, the, I forgot how loud Xbox 360 is. Because I've been playing the PS4 and the 1 for such a long time now. I am not used to it. Sniping is obviously... The, whoa, the first thing I did say for this video is do not... Oh, I said this in the Warfare bit and I will say it again. Do not... Oh. Pff, still got it. Oh, God, still got it. Where's he gone? Come back here. Come back here. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm taking them down. But like I was saying, guys, don't take uh, the graphics into consideration because the graphics is always going to change. That's going to be in ten years' time. We'll probably be, we'll be playing with fully 3D, or probably not even fully 3D. Probably more than that. Probably I don't know, but uh, something a lot, lot, lot better than what we've got now. We think what we've got now is great graphics. It's going to be better. Someone's texting me. No, it wasn't. I'm not that popular. Other than World at War, you can't you can't drive anything anymore. You can't get in any any vehicle. The game does feel very loose. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that, but the sniping feels loose. Very like the, there's I don't know. Sniping's gone up and down. As you know, some cars like MW2 it was brilliant. Black Ops 1 it was difficult, but it still was good. Black Ops 2 it was decent. And then you had Advanced Warfare where it wasn't bad, but it was a completely different way to snipe. Then you got uh, ghost, which was felt. This feels like ghost, actually. Obviously, I know a lot of you guys may come at that thinking what, but it feels a bit like ghost. Oh, I've got the rolling with the squad. Let's roll out. Oh, don't even try, dude. And the dogs have just got into some sort of frenzy downstairs. Lovely. Oh, well, this is great. Well, this is just great. Oh. Tree protect me. Mm, no tree protect me. I, I, I will say I'm very happy they did not put tanks in games anymore. Thank God for that. Keep that to Battlefield and stuff like that. The only thing you can get in now is on Black Ops 3 them things you can climb in, which is so dumb. Them futuristic things. But actually, with anything, they're the next step of what it's going to be. In the future, it'll be... Uh, actually, no. I was about to say if they bring planes in, but if they bring planes in... It's game over for that. Okay. Okay, then I was just mucking about. I was just actually trying to finish drinking my Coke. You know what this means now. This is now the no scope test. He doesn't see you. Oh my. Oh god, that counts. One thing that's just come into my head that I actually haven't thought of before is the maps back in the day, like on this map, are so big. Easy. Hang on, hang on. Oh, I had to reload. What's that? Almost punch. Punch. I got them both. Of them. And it is. The maps are getting smaller and smaller. Well, they're not getting smaller and smaller, but they've got smaller from back in the day. I know the reason this map's probably so big is because you can actually use a car or a tank to get around, but still, the maps have got smaller, which I prefer smaller maps because obviously you can get more of a streak and 
you can just do so much more. But I, I tell you what, punish. What, press that side to punish. There you go. What does that mean? He was punished for what? What did you do? Someone just come up to him and go, slap. So many fucking tanks. Give me an end. There we go. There we go. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I missed him. Oh, my. You thought Black Ops 3 was stressful. I take it back. They're bo both, both eras of games are equally stressful in their own way. This one, because you, you get killed by a tank every five seconds. And the other one, because you just end up, everyone's so sweaty because they can fly over your head. These fucking tanks, man. These are driving me insane. These tanks, oh, look, I have to make a break for another. Oh, I, run. Run, 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 run. I made it, I made it, I made it. Get under the bridge. Here we go, 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 go. Okay, we've got to keep running. Get as far away from them fucking things as possible. Get in. How's that? Hello, mate. Oh, come on. Oh, you're getting no-scoped. <laughs> Don't even try it, mate. You're getting no-scoped. Have they got another tank? Have they got... Oh, they've... Why are we not getting given tanks? They've just seen... Are they... Is it because they're stealing our tanks? Or are we just... The team without a tank. Okay. I mean, I mean, I was bad, but that guy was next level. Oh, give it a rest. Right, we're going to Infinite Warfare. No, we're going over to Infinite Warfare because, yes, I'm going to try and find a Call of Duty free trick shot for you guys to add at the end so you can compare the trick shots. Like, I, I'll do that at the end of Infinite Warfare. I'll try, if I can find one, I'll show you one now. If not, we'll go show over to Infinite Warfare. Eliminated. Allies win. So now let's move over to Call of Duty now. How far has it changed from the from what you just saw just then? And I think the answer to everyone that everyone's asking me there is a lot. A serious, serious amount. Like just everything about the game is as obviously it would be. Now I'm not just talking about just graphics, and that's the one thing everyone thinks, yeah, Jack, well you could just say of course it's gonna change. I just mean just look at it. Like the graphics have gone better. Like it's br the graphics now, as much as if you don't like the games that are coming out, the graphics are brilliant. Right, I probably should sweat just to help my team get to last. I've always been wanting to call these videos or this video in TDM. It's a lot more... Oh, what is this gun? I did not know why this was a machine gun. I thought it was a shotgun. Because you can get a lot more, you know, a lot more chances, a lot more trick shots. There's other people who have chances to hit as well, so there's more of a chance for you guys to see a shot. The best way I would describe it, or I could describe it, is that Call of Duty now goes up. And Call of Duty back then used to go left and right. You never went up on the old Call of Duty. The closest you'll get to going up is on a ladder or climbing up on a rock. But other than that, you never really went up. You always go, you always went side to side. Does that make sense? I don't know if it makes sense, but you, I'm sure you know what I mean. Like, now look, I'm in the sky. Whereas before, I would be on top of here. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I was actually having a little think, and I was trying to work out where was the, what was the first game that made the downfall of going to this futuristic stuff? It must have been Advanced Warfare, because Black Ops 2 wasn't very futuristic. You have, then you had uh, Ghost, which was just an absolute piece of shit shambles. Sorry to all you Ghost fans. Yeah, then you have Advanced Warfare that started with all this off. So you could argue that Advanced Warfare is the reason that we now can fly. We now can fly in Call of Duty. Because I, that's what I want to say throughout this whole video, guys. If you guys are a Call of Duty, a, uh, Call of Duty now or Call of Duty then person, be sure to comment below. Because I do generally really want to know what the majority of people would rather play. Like, would you rather play an old school Call of Duty like COD 4? Or would you rather play a Call of Duty like this and it has been very hard for me to really sit down for a, and play these new CODs for a long time so it's, it's quite difficult for me to sit down and play VOD. Obviously as you guys understand this is the beta so this is why I'm grinding this out. Like let's be real, where would you have this many wires and attachments on a, <laughs> on a, gu on a gun or on a sniper back on COD 2? Can you imagine if they brought this out and put loaded this many wires on it and what it would look like? I actually just i am worried to even think about what it would look like. It would look... I don't know. I don't know, if anyone wants to send a picture, if you're good on Photoshop, chuck a load of wires on like the M M2 or whatever the uh, the sniper is in COD 2. I actually feel like I could hit this guy. I've got a bit of a... I've got that feeling. Okay, maybe not because I just fucking fouled miserably then, but I've got the feeling. Let's also talk about going to stuff like stuff you can do in a game. So, for example, I can now go third person. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool that I can do that while I'm mid-air. Obviously, it's not designed for trick shooting, but... That's still pretty cool in my opinion. And when I said also you, the new Call of Duty go up, I ultimately they go down as well. As you can see, I am under the map. Like if you done that, if you got caught under the map back in the other cause, you get called a hacker, modder. We have to go with the times. Now, if you look at anything in the world, anything at all, it's always different. It's always completely changed. Uh, it's like the mu it, I think music's a big one. The way the music has changed over, over I don't know, the last God knows how long, however you want it to be. 
is still pretty crazy. So, of course, films change, games have changed, but do they change for the better? That's for you guys to, you know, to let us know what you think. This map is actually really good to do this video on. So, kind of Call of Duty then. I know it's not the Call of Duty 2. The Call of Duty 2 game was the oldest Call of Duty I have, so I thought I'd do it on that to kind of give you guys a full range of the two different, um, the two different games. But obviously terminals in MW2, etc. It is an old school and also MW3. And look how much it's changed. Like, I'll get a better view for you. Like, look, look at this. Look how much. I don't talk graphic wise. Graphic wise is obviously going to change. But we have the fucking Earth. We have the Earth over there chilling. Wait, where the fuck are we then? Wait, if the Earth's over there, then what? What? Where the fuck are? Wait, are we on the moon? I probably should have. Don't know. I don't know. Bro, we've got a spaceship here. I'm hoping, I was hoping they're bringing back uh, Carrier, sorry. But I know it's a different creator, so maybe when Treyarch's next card comes out, they'll bring back Carrier. But I don't think, well, everyone says they won't bring back Studio because they've brought it back too much. But if you actually think about it, they've brought back Terminal so many times. Why would they not bring back Studio? Because they can feel like, well, Terminal's come back about 85 times. So why don't we just bring Studio back 85 times? Or, now this is an idea, like they do on COD Online, why don't you just get all the best maps from all the Call of Duties, remake them all and chuck them in one game. I swear to God. And also you can have an option where you can like you can boot you can have one with a boost jump, because obviously some maps are designed for boost jumps, and then you can just have one without boost jumps and just let people play. Like in Advanced Warfare, but do it properly. Like actually make a good game, not the way Advanced Warfare played. Wasn't a bad game, just wasn't as good. Uh. No, that doesn't count. That makes me really depressed. Straight dog shit. I'm just gonna reply to Zimmer saying, I literally just replied to Zimmer saying this. <laughs> Straight dog shit. <laughs> literally just said, oh, I said straw dog shit. Same thing. I think on that note, I'll end this video. Be sure to drop a like, and let's try and break 4,000 likes we can for Call of Duty Now versus Call of Duty Then. Also, comment below, guys. I want to see all your comments saying if you're just put Call of Duty Now or Call of Duty Then. Then, obviously, being pre-Advanced Warfare, and obviously, then, now, being Advanced Warfare and onwards and upwards. See you guys tomorrow. Actually, no, do you know what? Let's end out on a shot, on a decent shot. I'm going to go for my top plays and, and showcase one of you guys for a sick shot at the end, and I'll try and find a COD 2 shot as well for the one before, or you should have already seen that, but I'm recording this bit before. Yeah. Peace out, everyone.